my god, my mind is blown right now. Welcome to another Swedish vlog, you guys. This is such a, a momentous occasion because I finally figured out how I could study Swedish sentence structure. A app, a website, a freaking entity, chat GPT, which considering the whole Japanese fighter robots thing that happened, this is kind of scary, um, but, <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna die by robots pretty soon, I'm gonna learn all the languages I can by using their cousins. So, this, I s did not even know, like, I just, I didn't know this was a possibility until this video called AI Just Killed Traditional Language Learning by Jerry Registry. Um, and now I have been testing it out, and it's, like, so freaking cool. So let me give you a little bit of, like, a show, because this is so cool. So, first thing is I said, I'm a beginner Swedish student, A1, create a short quiz to test me on Swedish sentence structure. And it did give me a quiz, which was like this, but then I, like, I wasn't, this was like a test, and so it gave me that, and then that. And then that, so like it gave me this, so this was very simple. But then I said, um, I said regenerate response, and it gave me these questions, and you answer, and it gave me a response ah, with like examples. Oh my goodness, this is great. Who needs to pay for an iTalkie teacher when you have this man right here? Um, anyway, so. I wasn't planning on vlogging my Swedish learning journey today, starting this vlog today or anything like that, but, but, I found this, and I needed to be excited about it with you all. If I had had this at the 90 days challenge, I might have been more successful, and I say might very hesitantly, but I might have been more successful. Okay, so it's later in the day. I messed around a little bit with chatbot, but I haven't done much. I need to write down what it told me about tenses, um, because it gave, I asked for some tense information. But, um, I also listened to the Coffee Break Swedish podcast when I was shoveling snow at 1.30 this afternoon, and then at 5 o'clock it started snowing again, and now, 7 o'clock, you can't even tell I shoveled for two hours. <laughs> oh. I hate Colorado. I hated Colorado last winter. I certainly hate Colorado this winter. And yet, I want to live in Sweden, maybe? Yeah, I don't understand it either. Anyway, it is now 7 o'clock, I have an hour before I'm going to get ready for bed, and I still want to get some words in, because I got 20 words per week goals, you guys. I gotta start learning some words. So that is what I'm going to do now. I just thought I'd try and be a little bit of a better vlogger, give y'all a little bit of a better update, and to do that, I need to update a little bit more. So, anyway, let's do that now. So one of the things that is actually pretty uh, divisive here in the language community is grammar. A lot of people think that you can learn grammar naturally through comprehensible input. Others think you need to do grammar drills over and over and over. And then some people think that it is a mix of both. And personally, I am one of those who thinks it's a mix of both. I think that I need to get a general idea of how it works, and then I'll be able to notice it when I'm doing comprehensible input, when I'm watching television shows or listening to podcasts. I think it's only then, after I have a basic idea of how it works, that I'll be able to notice the changes and notice the differences. And of course, I won't be able to use it if I don't know the basics to it. Hello! So it's the 10th. And I don't have many plans aside from the fact that I have two hours of Swedish that I need to study today. I think I'm going to try Swedish Pod 101 today for a resource. So that'll be exciting because I'm using it for Russian. So I want to try it for Swedish. And they have so many languages so it could be very beneficial. 
And then at like 1.30, me and Megan are actually going to call and FaceTime each other and do a like language study sesh because I really just want to study with somebody and we're going to try and do it once a month. We're going to try and do a study together session. So this is January's study session is today and it'll be probably for like two and a half hours. Um, because I have two hours of study I need to do, so I probably will do all of that with Megan. And, uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys then, because it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's 11 o'clock, not 1.30. But, um, right now I'm gonna go do chores, so let's do those. I was very frazzled, and, yeah. Okay, so, wow, natural lighting for once, who am I? It is now 1.33 and Megan and I are actually going to start our call soon. Um, I just wanted to make myself a warm drink because my throat hurt today when I was talking to my college advisor or success counselor, whatever they call it at that school. So I'm going to get some tea before I lose my voice. <laughs> so let's make tea. I forgot to do the fun transition. This tripod's not as tall as I thought it was, so that's a shame. But for Christmas, one of my co-workers put in my stocking this chai tea, and I've never had hot tea before. So I figured I should make this because tea is supposed to be good for you. I think you're supposed to put honey in it for a sore throat, but we don't have time to be fancy. I have the water boiling because your girl doesn't have a kettle. Um, she doesn't make tea ever, you know, first time. So I'm going to make this and hope it's good because I won't be able to make more. I mean, I will be. I'm FaceTiming Megan, so I'll be able to, but wow, so smooth. But I hope this is good. I don't know if it will be. This could be disgusting. It doesn't smell too bad. But we'll see. Oh my god, that is tea. <laughs> okay, so as you guys saw, it is uh, no longer clear water. I will be trying it on FaceTime with Megan. And we're going to cross our fingers that it tastes good. Otherwise, I just wasted a cup of water that could have been used for like hot chocolate or something. All I know is that it's very hot to the touch. But let's go say hi to Megan. And now we just wait for Megan. I am trying tea today. The chai tea that we got in the stocking is what I made. Oh, mm-hmm. Have you tried it? Is it good? Is it bad? I have not tried it, no. Well, then you'll get to see my reaction. <laughs> Hopefully it's good. Hi! Hi! Sorry, I just like, was like, I pulled it out from the desk and I was like, do you want to say hello? You're good. <laughs> If I'm eating on camera, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. All right. But I'm trying the tea, and I did say that I would try it on camera mm -hmm. to the two people that will watch this, including your mom. <laughs> okay. It's still pretty hot, but... Um, it equally has no taste at all and then possibly the worst taste you could put in your mouth some chai, chai teas are like that it's not very 
very good. Okay, so me and Megan just got off the phone. It is now 4.01 on the dot, so I really need to go make dinner for my mom and I. We're having lettuce wraps. Yum. And basically, we were on the phone for two hours, just over two hours, and we did 65 minutes of study, which I think is really good. I was like, Megan, we're doing sprints this time because a lot of the times when Megan and I get together, we study and then we stop our study and tell the other person what we learned while studying. And then we get distracted and then we start to study a little bit more and then we get distracted again. So I wanted to try doing a sprint method. And I personally think it was pretty productive, like 65 minutes of study. And I tried the Swedish Pod 101. Uh, resource because I'm using that for Russian so I'm trying it for Swedish and I think I'm going to like it. I took some notes on the number system and when you use och instead of point and when you use comma instead of comma you know uh, so I have some notes on that and I took some vocabulary words with audio I just need to put them into Anki I have 14 because I keep track over here on this paper. Um, so yeah, that's how that went. I still have 55 minutes of studying to do today, but I don't think that will be too difficult. I will probably do it after dinner, and I don't want to use the Swedish Pod resource again. I want to probably use my Link account to just do Link. So I'll probably do that. That's the plan for the day. But I'm taking this brace off, baby, because I'm getting off the computer, and I am going to go make dinner. And then that was the end of the video, somehow. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe down below because I try and post twice a week. We'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, goodbye. Hey, Dua. And don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer.